Today, we are talking about the three by 33 and manifesting technique. This is a three by 33 journal. So make sure you watch this video to the end so you can know how you can get this journal. I will leave the link. But anyway, let's talk about the three by 33 because it is a great manifesting technique that I've used before. A lot of you guys have used before and we want to help other people use it to create what they like so again the 3 by 33 is a manifesting technique to help reprogram your subconscious mind so that you can get the things that you desire or the life that you desire as fast as possible so that's what we're talking about today again watch this video to the end so you can learn about how to get that 3 by 33 manifesting journal um, but I just have a couple tips for you today about how to use the 3 by 33 and why it works so well and why it's such this big occurring thing now even though I've been doing it you know for a couple of years now so I've made other videos about the 3 by 33 the 4 by 44 5 by 55 6 7 by 77 um, and it helps you understand which number you should use each day so I'll make sure that I link that video down below so you can understand whether it's like most beneficial for you to do the 3 by 33 or the 4 by 44 5 by 55 blah 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 and so on and so forth but the three the number three is just a number of confirmation, help and assistance from assistant masters and angels and to let you know that they're gonna help you on your divine life path and help you find your soul mission. So the three by 33 is really beneficial if you've been trying to manifest a bunch of things but you haven't seen them come to fruition and you're like, where are they? So we're gonna do the three by 33. So basically the first tip is just telling you how it works. You write your manifestation down 33 times for three days straight in a row because you're helping program that into your subconscious mind. You've written it so many times, that's all you're thinking about and it's there and then you kind of let it go. But one thing I wanted to talk about in this video is that you don't necessarily have to write it down, you can speak it. Like when you speak things that you want, when you speak your thoughts and when you speak your feelings, it like amplifies your manifestation so much faster and helps you get it so much faster so if you feel like you're doing the three by 33 and you're writing it down 33 times for three days and your hand is hurting or you're getting lost and you're not really like paying attention to what your manifestation is like my best advice for you guys my best advice for you guys is to speak it and if you have a smartphone or an audio recorder, you can literally record yourself saying it 33 times or however many times you can play it throughout the day when you're just doing whatever, like whether you're cleaning in your home, you're driving in your car, you're at work and you can listen to audio, you know, and you just like put it into your subconscious mind. Because when you speak it, it's great. You can just speak it 33 times without recording it. But if you speak it and record it and write it, it's just like, whoa, out there. And then, but you don't want to hold on to it too tight. Just do it and let it go. That brings me to my second tip. So when you do the two, 3 by 33 or whether it's the 3 by 33 or the 5 by 55 or whatever resonates with you the most when you do it, make sure that after you do it that you go and get busy. Baby, drink your time blah 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 get busy. I'm such a damn dork. But yeah, get busy. Go and, you know, vibrate high do your little 3 by 33 5 by 55 whatever it is and then go and get on with your life and get busy and do things that you need to get done so don't even think about your manifestation anymore because when you let it go then the universe can do whatever that they need to do because they have the a bird's eye view that rhyme to help you get whatever it is that you're manifesting or trying to manifest so go do your 3 by 33 whether you write it just speak it or you write it speak it record it and go and get on with your life like go and get busy and whether you need to clean whether you need to go to work whether you need to work out whether you got errands to run whether you have things to tend to go and get busy and get happy raise your vibration and do things that make you feel good you'll just forget about it and before you know it that manifestation is just gonna show up mm -hmm. but yeah I want you to get busy and like do the things that you would normally do to make you feel good one other great tip about when you do the 3 by 33 is to know like you know like you know you need to know like you know like you know that whatever you're trying to manifest whatever it is that you desire is going to occur and you're going to get it eventually because that's really important so if you write down your affirmations if you listen to it record it walk away go get busy raise your vibration and you know that eventually one day it's going to occur and you just know you know you're not doubting it you're not like self-sabotaging yourself you know it's going to happen 
then that's the best thing, period, that can help make your manifestation come to you really quickly. So do your 3 by 33 and let it go. You guys that have stayed tuned, thank you for staying tuned to this video. Like this video if it's helpful for you. But most important thing is that at the beginning of the video, I showed you that I had a 3 by 33 manifesting journal. Wow. Right here. I love it. It was gifted to me. Um, her name is Tristan Hostin. Hostin, Hostin. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, boo. But if you want your own 3 by 33 manifesting journal to be inspired and manifest the way that I do and the way that Tristan does, Tristan. Go ahead and get this journal. We got it and we're manifesting things. Who cares about the people that don't believe in manifesting? Because we're out here manifesting, right guys? So I'll leave her Amazon link below if you want to get a 3 by 33 manifesting journal from her. Um, it's really cute. She has like little words of wisdom in the beginning and each um, days and dates and words of inspiration and stuff. And me personally, I write big. So, you know, I'll probably end up using this in a couple of days um but regardless it's a, such a great thing somebody really took their time out to make a manifesting journal for you guys because when you really care about manifesting and you really believe in the law of attraction you're gonna do things inspired action helps with the law of attraction and some people are literally taking their time out to do stuff like this and make manifesting journals so please be sure to hit the link down below if you want one of your own I got you guys and girls, blah, 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 blah. So excited about that. Happy manifesting. Know like you know like you know that you're going to manifest whatever it is that you want. Write it down. Believe it. Speak it to people. And before you know it, when you're least expecting it, your manifestation is going to come to fruition and be in your physical reality. So please like this video if you end up liking it. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Comment down below if you know anything else about manifesting with the 3x33 or if you have any questions or if you, anything. If you want to inspire the Love Bug family, do it. Okay, guys. I love you all. And until the next time... I will see you very soon and bye.